and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. So it is Friday today, so Max, Iris and Olive are at school, whilst me, Mum, Jean, Jude and Jessie are at home. Um, I think Mum has an appointment today, but I'm sure she'll tell you about it anyway. So I have a few things to put you guys in on. So the first thing is, I now have my top braces on. I got them like four weeks ago and they were really painful for like a week or even more. Um, um, mum bought me soup and stuff, but I don't actually like soup. Um, and then I had to use a little bit of wax. There were like loads of bits poking out on my brace. And it was really painful, guys. Um, but I'm now I'm really worried because on the February the 7th, I'm getting my bottom ones on and my top ones tightened. So my mouth's going to be very painful, but I'll be fine, you know. Like, I'll just, I'll eat, like, I'll try and eat soup and noodles and stuff. And I'll be fine. Um, but anyway, guys, the second thing is I have fractured my elbow. It is a Salter Harris fracture, and it's like right on the very tip of my elbow. Um, like it, it's really painful, um, but it's not too bad. They said it's only stage one, so like, like I said, it's not that bad. Um, but I'm really worried because like cheer comps is coming up soon, and like. I'm a Lady X level 4 and a Prodigy Junior 1 and putting all that pressure back on it again with my tumble is like gonna hurt it so I'm gonna keep this on for, they said to keep it on for another 2 weeks and then take it off and just like do exercises with it to build up its strength for another week um, but I'm just worried because I'm not 100% with all my um, Lady X level 4 tumble um, so I just hope I'm gonna be okay because then I'll, I'll only have like a few more weeks until comp to get all my tumble perfect again um but hopefully i'm okay um so yeah guys that's everything about me so i'll probably speak to you soon good afternoon tyra fam so i am currently sitting in the car park of our local hospital um i have just had a scan for those of you that don't know my history about two years ago i had to have my right ovary and fallopian tube removed because i had a tumor um basically anyone who's ever had a run-in with cancer has to have quite a lot of follow-up so my protocol is that i need to have six monthly scans for the next five years and um, well two years have already gone so i've got three years left and then i will be fully discharged now i feel like i have been at this hospital so much lately a couple of weeks ago elsie had an allergy appointment which then needed a blood test then we were up here last week um in a e for elsie's elbow then we had to come back two days later for the fracture clinic so i have had enough of this hospital um it is now one o'clock exactly the children at home should be taking Jesse out for his walk. Um, I want to get home and I really want to get like the bulk of dinner started. But after school, I actually forgot. I looked in my diary today and then it was there. We are going to my friend's house. I'm going to take um, Elsie, Max, Ollie and Iris all there. We're supposed to be there for like four o'clock and we're going to spend a couple of hours there. She is a cheer mum. She also home educates a couple of her younger children. So she's lovely. But we just, our paths don't seem to cross as much anymore now that that we're in a new cheer season so really looking forward to that the children all get on marvelously and max ollie and iris are going to be really surprised because i didn't tell them this morning because i hadn't remembered so they're going to be that's going to be a lovely surprise for them when i pick them up from school so i'm going to drive home now um and yeah i'll show you what i'm making for dinner because it's a delish one hi guys so i'm just sitting on the sofa and i'm going to show you my list of everything i have to do so here it is i have to do chores which i've already done Reading, which I've already done. Quizlet, which I've already done. Cheer sending, which is basically sending videos of your splits and other conditioning for summit. Um, general tidy up, which I've already done. Stretching, ballet work, maths lesson. Um, so basically I have a maths tutor and um, I missed her lesson last time. So she sent a recording and I'm going to do that. Um, and then the last thing is take Jessie on a walk. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna do probably my cheer sending now and then do the rest of my stuff a bit later on. So I'm just gonna blow dry mine and Jean's boots because we left them in the rain and now they're really wet on the inside. Let's go, let's go, yeah, let's go. So I am home now and 
Jean, Jude and Elsie are all out walking Jesse. So I'm going to make a start on dinner. I'm going to be making a pizza casserole. Um, I did post a whole sort of kind of recipe because I just winged it over on my Instagram page but I and I will link it in the description box below if you would like to make it. Um, basically I just make the base, make the sauce and it turned out really well which is why I posted about it. Um, let me just show you the ingredients for the base. We have some polenta which is just ground corn, um, some tofu, some tahini, some yeast flakes and some cauliflower that I got Jude to cook up for me whilst I was at the hospital. I see it all too fast, but I'm not leaving. Let me show you the fence. This is the fence that blew down and this is where Jesse loves to run. Just wants to go in there. It's the best place in the world to him. We're gonna take Jesse off lean now, guys. Sit. Just oh, okay, you can lay down if you want. He's gonna roll over. Do you like to roll? Yes. He yes. does he likes to yes, he likes to roll around in the grass, guys. This is so fun. You're having a good time. You're having a good time, you wanna run with Jude? Jesse, come on! Jesse! You wanna Jesse. run with Elsie? Go get her! Go get her, good boy! He's very fast. It's like a big teddy bear. Hello, handsome. Ah. Oh my God. <laughs> he always gets underneath your feet and he almost yeah. nearly trips you up. He's so silly. Can you get Elsie? I just wanted to quickly say that um, so basically Max got a fit of me for Christmas um, and he gave me his old one um, and I don't have any steps I've done but I'm going to quickly have a look now I don't have what I only have one arm so I'll just have to try and grab it through the shirt I've done 4,281 which is pretty good yesterday I hit 10,000 um, but because I didn't go to bed till really late, um, I had to walk around my room to get my steps to 10,000. Um, because like I, I was just sitting out watching programs and then I realized they had like 9,800 steps and I wanted to um, get to 10,000. So my goal is to get 10,000 every day. Um, but I only walk, um, got this yesterday from Max. So yeah guys, like I just said, we're on our way home now. So yeah, I'll see you soon. So mum is making us cheese and steak toasties for lunch. Yeah, guys, I found these sweet smoky barbecue, like they are made with like seitan and pea protein. Um, and yeah, it's Sainsbury's. So I just thought we'd make some, yeah. they're chicken style pieces with cheese. In I've actually tried a bit before so and they're really nice. Have you? Yeah, you yeah. can eat them just like this. We're yeah. making them into steak and cheese toasties for lunch. Come here. Let's show everybody your paws, yes. This mud, we've tried to wipe it, but yeah. Oh, good boy, look at that. Look at that! Jesse, did you escape from your, your den over there? Did you escape? Jesse, you're not gonna go roll over on some beds? Okay, not happening. Okay? Okay, buddy? Look, look. Good boy. Good boy. Ah, thanks Jess. So rude. So, Mum and Elsie have gone to go and pick up the rest of the guys from school and then they're going to their friend's house and Dad came back for a little bit and then Jude went with him. Um, and me and Jess Jess were left here. I got Mum's pizza casserole up oven and it looks really good. I really like it when I'm home alone. It's just so quiet and peaceful. And I can also listen to the music that I want to listen to because nobody else um, likes the same music that I do in this house. Um, and sometimes when I'm home alone, what is nice, so I always watch my programs on um, a laptop. But I can use um, the TV if I'm feeling like it, which is a lot nicer than um, looking at a laptop screen. I'm thinking of possibly watching... Um, some Sherlock right now. Um, my friend got me into it and I really want to watch some more so I might do that. Um, or I might just sit on my phone or I might read a book. I don't know, I actually don't really feel like getting up and doing much right now. 
So guys, we just finished, finished school and a mummy a mum surprised me that I'm going to my friend's Dick Victor's house and I'm really really excited because I haven't seen him in such a long time. And mum's gone gone into Lid Lidl to get to get some snacks and also I had a great time at school today. Iris dear, do you, you you have you have a great time at school? Yeah, it was great. Well Liv did you? Yeah. So I'm back from Lidl and um, I found out recently through my next door neighbour um, that these little mini cookies, either the double chocolate chip or the single chocolate chip, are both vegan and they're really reasonably priced. And but the thing is, it's really weird because they do like you know like the big biscuits, like in a packet. They aren't vegan, but the small ones, these, accidentally vegan. These like mini packets. How many do you get? Six mini bags are vegan. So we're going over to our friends and I'm going to take the cookies over. Are you ready to go then? Yeah. 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 Let's go. A few moments later. So we are home now, guys. It is 6.25, super late. Everyone is super hungry. Um, Elsie is still at my friends. They're gonna be taking her to cheer. She's gonna have something to eat there. Um, inevitably, she'll be hungry when she gets home at about quarter to 10, but we'll just rustle her up something then. I wanted to show you the pizza um, casserole bake because it looks amazing this is what it looks like inside the base is nice and firm on top you've got the tomato sauce and the seeds and then i'm just serving it with some mixed vegetables so here are all the children's meals here and then we've got ollie and irises they've got a smaller portion and then the rest of it we've got a whole half of casserole is going to be for me and dad There's my portion and I've saved a little bit for Elsie for when she gets back from cheer. I didn't really eat I didn't really eat all of my dinner because I didn't like it. Um and but it was really healthy. And maybe I'll eat it tomorrow and then I'll get maybe I'll eat um some of it tomorrow. Ollie? Yeah. How are you getting on with your dinner? Good. Do you like it? Yeah, look how much I eat of that. Did you? Yes. Did you actually eat some or did you just um, dis dismember it? I eat it. Do you want to try this? Can you just show me that you've tried some? No. I'm... Ollie, Ollie, mind you're putting your hair in there. No, Mummy, I'm full. But you haven't eaten your vegetables or your casserole. Look at this. Oh, you've been peeling peas? Yes. Yeah? That's my Okay, do you want to try? Oh, just a bit. Ollie, Ollie. Mummy spent ages making this I for you. Really yeah, you did. That's good. It's good to try. Why don't you just try? I haven't tried but, it. But it's better to eat half or more. It's better to eat half or more. Well, it's best. It's, it's good to eat all of it, but obviously, if you genuinely don't like it, I don't know. But sometimes they say if you keep trying things, you start to like it. My mouth's a real pea. Right, let's try this for me, Ollie. No, I want to try the real peach. Mm. That's a bit of a waste, isn't it? I just got back from cheer and it is like 10 o'clock so I'm exhausted although I didn't do that much because my arm still just sitting there doing nothing makes you really tired um, I did have a really good time at my friend's house and mum's made me some casserole um, but I did also have some dinner at my friend's house which was really nice um, after my food I'm probably just going to go straight to bed um, so yeah I'm just going to eat this now guys Whenever I film myself, like, in the evening, my face is always really shiny compared to, like, the beginning of the vlog. And so when I'm editing, it just looks like a degeneration of myself. <laughs> um, so it's now 10.30. Um, Elsie's just finished her food. Um, there's Jeannie. Um, we've been watching trailers since the babies went upstairs. Um, but, yeah, everyone needs to get into bed. We've got a busy day tomorrow. We've got swimming, um, ballet... Anything else? No, I don't think so. so. I honestly forget. If it's not in my diary, I'll, I'll check my diary tonight. Um, but otherwise, I, f I forget. So, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed um, today's vlog. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And we will see you all again very soon. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.